What's good everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new to it, my name's Jake. Glad to have you here. And today we're doing this Aethervolt, uh, bundle? Yeah, bundle. Not fat pack. Bundle. I always do that. Uh, we're in the swing of the holiday season, I believe. It's, uh, cold and pretty gross <clears throat> outside, but we're trekking through, staying warm. How great would it be if we get a treasure? That's what we're really after in this. I mean, there are a couple of really good, um, oh, boy, these books. I really wish they would bring these back. Walking Ballista. That's what we opened one of those in the in the last bundle. Let's see if we can if we can do it again. I've got the green die and then a whole big stack of regular lands because this was before they started doing the foil lands mixed with the regular lands. All right, let's see. A couple couple uh, uncommons in the set too that we are certainly wanting to get. Hope of Gerper. Oh, there's a foil rare. Peace Walker Colossus. Cost three, six, six, crew four. Uh, we can pay a white and a colorless. Another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Fatal Push would be great. Oath of Johnny, okay. And then, yeah, I mean, I love opening Walking Ballista, so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Battle at the Bridge. That's not great. What Gifted Aetherborn, I think, is another uncommon out of uh, Aether Revolt that's worth uh, a couple bucks, I want to say. Renegade Rallyer, that's a good one. Aether Sphere Harvester. Well, at least we got a foil rare out of it, although Peace Walker cost this. I actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't even remember that being a card. But I didn't open a lot of Aether Revolt or Kaladesh either. War of Invention, all right, that's pretty sweet. That's a good one. Modern playable. Mm. Aetherwind Basker. It's a mythic. And then there's a foil planes. Foil planes. At least it's the good planes. It's the Avon planes with the castle in the background. Let's see. Piers Revolution. Well, Arinthoper, Airdrop Aeronauts, Perilous Predicament, Aether Geode Miner. Hmm. Two packs left. Are we going to do it? Are we going to... Oh, Metallic Rebuke. This is actually uh, playable <clears throat> with War of Invention. <laughs> Let's see. Hidden Herbalist. Siege Modification. Windkin Raiders. And... Uh, oh, Quicksmith Rebel. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Last pack. Let's see. Skyship Plunderer. Deft Dismissal. S Servo Schematic. Oh, Tezzeret. Nice. All right. That's pretty pretty good. Got a Tezzeret the Schemer. Uh, cost a blue, a black, two colorless. Comes in with five loyalty. It's plus one create a colorless artifact token named Ethereum Cell with... Tap, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Minus two, target creature gets plus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of artifacts you control. And then it's minus seven. You get an emblem with, at the beginning of combat on your turn, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base, power, and toughness five, five. 
Yeah, Tezzeret's pretty sweet. So, it, all in all, uh, I think a pretty solid uh, bundle. No treasure. Got a foil planes. Got a foil rare. Tezzeret. Uh, War of Invention. Oath of Ajani might be, like, not bulk. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's good for, like, a Super Friends deck for EDH. When Oath of Ajani enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, and then Planeswalker spells you cast cost one less to cast. So, yeah. Yeah, all right, not bad. Well, thanks for checking out the video, guys. It was a short one, just a little snack to get us through the week, but if you enjoyed this one, chances are you will enjoy my other ones, so make sure you check them out. And until the next one, my friends, I will see you later. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm or cold, I guess, depending on where you are in the world, but I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!